Hey, what's up guys? For today's weather term, I figured we could talk about hodographs. A hodograph is simply a graph used to determine your wind speed and direction throughout levels of the atmosphere. So here, you can see you have an X and Y axis starting at zero, and on it is labeled wind speeds and knots. So let's pretend we're looking straight down on the atmosphere, and let's pretend this is an individual thunderstorm. So you can see you have wind speeds indicated northward, east, south, and west. And this red line is what it is in fact doing wherever you pinpoint on a map. So what you have here is numbers indicated on it. That is your um, your elevation indicated in meters. So you have 259, 2,405, all the way up to 16,000 meters. 16,000 meters, that's above what planes fly. That's 48,000 feet or 9 miles. So what you want to do to figure out how it works so you always start at your point of origin, your zeros, and you make an imaginary line to any elevation you want. So let's just take 259 meters up. You just make a pretend arrow in that direction. You can tell it's going south-southwest at approximately 15 knots. And you can go all the way up. You can see way out here at 5,758, heading east-northeast at above 60 knots, and even goes off the map. You can predict wind speeds of up to 80 knots out here, and then it begins to slow down way up in your upper levels of the atmosphere. So this one I just pulled off of offline on Twister data, and there's that and Pivotal Weather, which are both really good places to look at these, um, skew charts and different severe weather maps and models for indicating severe weather, and that's what storm chasers use. But anyways, here is a better map that I found in a good prediction for severe weather in terms of your wind speed and direction. So here, what they call is a hook, and that's what you want to look for in severe weather in terms of wind speed and direction in your wind shear. You got this obvious looking hook right here, and it's what you want is a good strong change in direction of speed and an acceleration of wind speed ramping up as you gain in your low level shear. And so as you can see here, starting at 10 meters up, or 30 feet, it's heading west-northwest at about 17 knots. And you can see here immediately heads from westward to northward here in your low level shear and it's very strong at 1200 meters it's already going about 53 knots and then already heading northeast at 25 or sorry 2500 meters it's heading northeast at about 40 knots so a really strong wind speed and change in direction throughout your low levels you're going westward to north to northeast and just a few miles up and that's what you want to look for because in an updraft of a thunderstorm you then have um, rotation so you make a thunderstorm into a mesocyclone and if you have strong enough winds and a strong enough change in direction you can tighten up that mesocyclone into a wall cloud and if it gets strong enough even more you then get a tornado so that is really all it is for but both wind shear and change in direction are both important for severe weather and I'll tell you why. Let's pretend this hodograph, this red line here, the wind speeds all were just in your 10 knots. So you had an updraft right here in a thunderstorm. Well, if all your wind speeds are all right in here, the updraft is going to make rain, and that rain is going to go right back down on your updraft and canceling it out, and that thunderstorm is going to be depleted right away. So if you just have straight line acceleration and wind shear in one direction, that will be good because your updraft will not be interrupted by the rain. The rain will be falling eastward. And so that will create a, just a large hail event, straight line winds. And then, like I said, your change in direction, that's what creates your rotation for wall cloud or whatever. And you can also use hodographs to estimate the prediction um, of the direction of the storm itself. So let's say, like again, this is a thunderstorm you would always start at your point of origin. You can kind of average out all the wind speed and direction. There is an equation for it, but you generally want to use your upper, upper level um, wind speeds and directions here. So you can kind of predict this thunderstorm will be kind of heading northeast. Um, other than that, there really is not a whole lot to it. Um, if there's anything that I missed, you can feel free to mention it. If you have any other questions about photographs or want to know any other weather terms, just leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a good day. Hey, what's up everyone? 
For today's weather term, I figured we would discuss the word CAPE, or Convective Available Potential Energy. Now this is the potential energy for an air parcel.